So due to the overwhelmingly positive response last week, we're going to start off with a clip show this week. Beep, 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 beep. Is that what happened last week and a lot of people didn't like it? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. lo- most people did not like it, I would say. I was saying it what has so many mod points. The possibility. They're See, just the pop- all negative. Barbara, you know Gus really well. Yeah, unfortunately. He's mad about it. He's really upset. Yeah. You, he, he, oh, you are. You're mad about it. So yeah. Was that joke not funny? Then? No, no. What about that? No, 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 no. That's fine. Okay. What are you uh, mad about? That we did a stupid clip show. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're mad that we did it? Yeah. Oh. I thought you would be like, Thrilled. you were mad that the audience was telling you. No, just me right. But we all knew it was going to be a bad idea. <laughs> we, all, we all knew it. We were, well, now we, we know. When it first came up. And then we were told, well, we'll see how it does. I'm actually concerned that it will actually, views-wise, perform better than some other shows, and then there'll be justification that we should do more. But let's make a commitment right now. If we ever do another clip show, it's going to be an, an extra show. Yes. You know, we're committing yes. to that now? Yes. So episode yes. 480, when we yes. do a clip show and no yes. extra show, yes. bookmark this yes. and send it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, no, yeah, not happening. You we're, know what I realized today? What? Shrove Tuesday is like it's soon. a month away. It's really soon. Are we going to be in Sydney, half. Australia when that happens? No, no, it's, no, no, no. it's like mid February or yeah. end of February. It's, it's pretty close, yo. Yeah. I was loving on no, podcasts I'm to, to Sydney, Australia, to RTX Sydney. Oh, yeah. I love being on podcasts where you talk about theme podcasts that I know I'm not going to be a part of because <laughs> you guys are like, oh, <laughs> steaks podcast. And then I'm like, you can still come and you get can have pa- No. You can watch. On Although the to be fair, but I woke up. This <laughs> you can make pancakes at home. I woke up this morning and re- I, f- I remembered I was on the podcast and I was like, "I'm gonna be at work for the next 13 hours." Yeah, like, Monday. Uh, yeah, Mondays are long days. And then Mad Ju- Mad World by Gary Jules. And my the camera starts zooming on my face. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I can't sing the melody to that song. I don't think I, I, I don't know that song. So All Blaine around. had a really funny thing happen this week because did I? You, well, you're. Girlfriend left Austin to go back to <laughs> San Francisco, <laughs> yeah. and she was tweeting constantly about how depressed you were. Like, you were all wrapped up in this. I did notice one thing, though. One of my favorite things about Blaine is, if he eats anything, he tracks it. Like, an eighth of a cookie, he'll track it in his little phone tracker. Really? You, were, you write it down? All day long. No, yeah, 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 have a nap. Until he gets to Sunday, and then he eats an entire home slice pizza, which is, imagine eating... A full size New York style pizza. It's his cheat meal. Thing. Yeah, it's a large every time. Do you do cheat meal or cheat day? Cheat day. Okay. Just like Sunday's cheat. So cheat do you eat day. just one pizza, and that's that what you eat? That's that the only that's the only thing just you eat all day. Pizza. Oh no, 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 no I mean no, like, or do you eat a... like a pizza at lunch and a pizza at dinner? <laughs> don't you have like oh, a, no. a list of places you go to? Like first is home slice, and then you get like a milkshake somewhere. I right? used to I used to go to Amy's ice cream and get a, co- a chocolate milkshake, but that was like that was a little did overboard. You say a chocolate milkshake. A chocolate milkshake. I really did. My favorite milkshakes. But no, yeah, I just keep it to a large home slice pizza in the morning. I like do like a shake. Keep it. I just keep it to one pizza. You know, <laughs> yeah. what, what's your pizza of choice? Is it mushroom? Ooh, it's a half margarita, half white pine spinach. And I go in there, and they know me now. And they're like, hey, it's a boy, you know? and like, <laughs> Why are the people at home slice all of a sudden Italian? They're not, but uh, I like to spice up my stories. <laughs> they have plain. really good pizza. Spice up my stories. <laughs> That's a spicy story. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody have a good break? I, I felt like I was going stir crazy. Me really? too. Yeah, like the last two days. I was at home, I would just like sat on my couch and did nothing. I was like, I need to get back into my routine. Like, I need to be in the routine of coming to work. And you, need, you need to sit still at work. Yeah. I, you I, can't I, sit still. I can't sit. I can't. I was, I was burrowing through, my ass was burrowing through the couch. Yeah. I was getting brain fog like real bad the last two weeks of just not being at work or mm-hmm. having any like mental stimulation. Uh huh. I like being home and I still like being home and on vacation. It's just like I was getting stir crazy. Yeah. Same. What's oh. your go to activity at your house when you're there by yourself? Masturbating. Is it no? Come on! Is it masturbating? Well, we learned so much. No, I. <laughs> I really. I keep meaning. I keep making notes. That I want to come back to it. Like when Gavin was talking. When were we talking about masturbation? Like and a Gavin podcast. And he's like, you don't just start masturbating. Like it starts itself. Was what he was saying. <laughs> I'll was, have to wait till he comes back. That was on the live show that we. we That's what it about. was. It was on the live. Uh, Would you ever wear a goatee? I used to back when I was like shaving or like growing out my facial hair. Yeah. Because yeah, it's um, Van Dyke. Yeah. I feel like Dyke. you should try the mutton chops. Like shave everything. Like. That would be that goatee shave saver thing. What? Uh, give me a trimmer and I'll do it today. Like now, mutton chops. Nice to be right about. Yeah, something. like just keep these things. Yeah. If we have a, if we have a trimmer on set, do we have a trimmer. We can, we can take this to oh, extra geez. life levels. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Bar, put your glasses down. Excuse me. A little burp into the microphone. Oh. <laughs> so one of the things I noticed today <laughs> in a meeting that I was in with Barbara 
is that Barbara, when she wears glasses, these glasses in particular, it looks like the movie version of the pretty girl, and they try to make her like not look pretty by Average. putting glasses on her, but it's it, you're like, obviously that's a very pretty girl. <laughs> And then she can take off her glasses and be yeah. off. I'm sexy all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> My glasses. My glasses. <laughs> You're like on the floor scratching around for them. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like the the thing in the makeover of like a movie, and then they're yeah. like the final touch. Oh. <laughs> She's gorgeous. As a lo- as a lifetime glasses wearer, I was always insulted by stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> those don't look good. On Apparently, you. if you, you want to see a dolly, they look good in Blaine. They I look really good. Yeah, I, Why? I, just, I would just you. like make the bottom darker. Bah, they look good on you. Yeah, they're dirty. Dude, clean these fucking things. I don't know how to k- take care of glasses. Just clean them. <laughs> you do that what? thing. You've seen it with this, the mush. But with my sweater with that's all pilly? One of my favorite moments ever was when George W. Bush was on David Letterman. Mm-hmm. And, you know, in the commercial breaks, they're just sitting there in their chairs. And obviously, they're going to give the sitting president of the United States of America two segments on the late night talk show. So they went to a commercial, and they were going to come back, and they actually played what happened when they went to commercial break, where somebody came over to Letterman's desk to give him notes or whatever, and George W. is just sitting there, and he has his glasses on, and he takes them off, and he cleans his glasses with the woman's shirt that is helping David Letterman. And it just seemed like the most out of, I mean, just, who cares? He's the president, so he's probably used to people helping him do stuff or whatever, but it just seemed like the most out of touch thing to me ever that he was just using this woman's shirt to clean his glasses. That's bizarre. Like she, almost like she was an appliance of some kind. Tomorrow it, I'm going to use your shirt to clean my glasses at some point. Well, what is your, do you know what your prescription is? It's sad. Uh, it's 0.25. And what are you wearing glasses it's for? Soul. It's for computer reading. It's because I've had eye strain really bad on the computer. Show me how you look at use the computer. You like this? That's Ashley, Don't by the mad. way. That is exactly what Ashley looks like every single she probably, moment she plays a video. She game. probably needs glasses. It's like this furrowed brow. Mm. Just I didn't realize time. I was doing it until I put the glasses on and I was like, I don't Oh my do god. That. Oh look. Oh, is that from Batman and Robin? Yeah, it's Poison Ivy, right? Oh man. Aaron took a picture oh, of me so at hot. dinner the other day where I was wearing a black hot. turtleneck and my glasses, and he said I looked like Vicky Vale. Oh Batman. yeah. I saw that in your great. Yeah, it was a, uh, and then I saw a picture and I was like, you're not. So they just showed a picture of Uma Thurman playing. What's the professor that turns into poison ivy? Does anybody know off the top of their head? No. Anybody? Smart guys? In the it says that they have clippers. What? Patrick says they have clippers. Oh, and they also that they have a picture of oh, David, David no. at a convention in 2015. My brand. Uh, but did he spoil it? I mean, I'm, maybe the maybe the part of it where yeah. he doesn't go to conventions is wrong. But the him spoiling it is right. I mean, yeah. uh, maybe he can't appear as Darth Vader. Maybe that's it. Yeah. So do you, uh, you, you want you want chops? Yeah, we can do mutton chops. Um, <gasps> another w- a big one. It's not that big of a deal. I grew up back in like a day. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Still exciting. Um, <laughs> the uh, the guy that played um, Bays in Rogue One, the the big like souped up dude with the awesome rocket launcher and you know uh, cool plasma rifle, whatever. That's one way to describe it. He sure. um, he ruined uh, Rogue One at the Star Wars Celebration. Oh, I heard panel. about that. Because he was on there. Can I spoil that? Everybody's I haven't seen, it, seen right? Rogue yeah. One. I don't know, man. I haven't seen it yet. He basically I mean, said, he after this character dies, then my character does this, this, and this. And then everyone was like, and then Gwendolyn Christie, was, who's uh, going, he was oh leading the God. panel, was like, okay, let's move on. It was the most uncomfortable thing to watch. <sighs> Woof. That, that panel good. was a nightmare. I'm uh, terrified so, about doing that for like Ruby or something right. on a panel. Do you, you got like a uh, paper that I can do this? According no, to. to uh, who is this? On Twitter, Gina at Wake Up Tink. Doctor Pamela Isley is Poison Ivy. Doctor Pamela Isley. Yes. Mirror. All right. Fair play. No, you don't need a mirror. You should do it without a mirror. Oh, well, you're gonna get my water away from there. <laughs> so Blaine is currently gonna give himself mutton chops after one suggestion. <laughs> so while Blaine is doing that, while Blaine is doing that, I want to talk to you about something, Gus. I read something over the. Uh, I read something over the. Break, which made me think of you, and it, you know, oh, one, of the, one of the things one of the things we talk about is how technology will affect what we do and how we exist. And there was a crazy stat that came out over the break where they did a study. And you know, they always talk about autonomous driving as being something that will affect industry, affect yeah. jobs. But somebody did a study and they showed an impact that autonomous driving is about to have on us that we're not prepared for, and will actually cause a crisis in a certain industry. And that is that one in every five donated organs 
comes from a car accident. Oh. And so there's going to be a shortage of organs for transplant because there's going to be less car accidents. Which is a weird thing to be concerned about because someone who <laughs> needs a transplant is by definition unhealthy. And yeah. someone who dies in a car accident is not necessarily. Typically, you associate that as being an accidental death. Right. Or whatever. But it's kind of interesting that somebody took the time to look at that and study that. Yeah, and this, it's like one of those things I never would have <laughs> thought about. You're fighting him. Yeah, that's a pretty morbid reason. Yeah, but it's, I, I like that analysis. And I, the, I bring that up because I read, uh, I read about this volcano. Uh, there's a super volcano in the world that has struck solar and wind. Oh. Up. Oh, up. damn it. <laughs> Blaine just spilled, very clearly <laughs> spilled his drink. That looked very deliberate. Yeah. There was, that was not deliberate at all. There was so many. So, uh, once again, that was. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I, was, I, was, I, I looked it up real fast while we were talking. The uh, Krakatoa erupted in 1883, and it was so loud that it was heard 3,000 miles away. Wow. It's thought to have been Holy the shit. loudest sound ever on Earth. Uh, I think Helen's was pretty loud too, wasn't it? They said that the sound was calculated 100 miles away. The sound was 180 decibels, and that uh, the explosion each ex so it exploded three times. Each explosion was accompanied by tsunamis estimated to have been over 98 feet high. Wow, 98 foot high wave. That was your mom jumping into them. the pool. Yes, wow. very good. nice. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. Uh, so I'm looking at volcanic winters. Uh, there was, uh, it's considered a global, uh, volcanic winter, but Mount Pinatubu in the Philippines cooled global temperatures for about two to three years. It sounds like we'd actually use one of these things. At that level, we could, like, handle that. But there was one in 1883. There was one in 1815. There was one in 1783. There was one in 1600. There was one in 1452 or 1453. And that was an underwater volcano. That's crazy to me. Like th th that's a that's a common major occurrence that happens, you know. And so that's something that could definitely happen again. We could, I mean, if this Italian volcano goes, the what's the where's the big one that's in the middle of the U.S. at Yosemite? You, uh, yeah, I think Yellowstone? so. Yellowstone or Yosemite? Yeah. Yellow Is it Yellowstone? Yeah. Yellowstone. So there's there's the United States sits on a massive <clears throat> super volcano. If that thing erupts, you know. I mean, you think, oh, the U.S. is going to be destroyed, that. but that would actually kind of, like, cover the whole... It doesn't matter. Everything's going to die. Since, throw enough ash into the so, planet, uh, or into the atmosphere. Real fast, a uh, quick rewind. Patrick just sent me a clipping from the newspaper that you said that confirms what you said, where yeah. it has David Prowse talking about... Oh. So yeah, it's a it clip. It's a, like, a, literally somebody clipped out part of the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Dick. Can you imagine being at that panel? You're one of the biggest Star Wars fans ever, and you get something like that. Read the theme. newspaper. You wouldn't even go to the damn panel. It's funny, too, because it Why felt authentic... Why they put that in the newspaper, though? Because they probably didn't think, I mean, there was no spoiler culture in 1979 or 1980, you know? What year like was Empire? Reveal, revealing the plot to uh, 79. 79, yeah. yeah. So yeah. 77 was the original? Yep. Was it 80? 80. It was 80, 80 I think. Yeah. 80. You should keep those chops for a while. They look good. Thanks. So, the, uh, so the, <laughs> like, to, to give a comparison, I said Krakatoa was the loudest sound ever on Earth at 180 decibels. Your eardrums rupture at 150. Really? <laughs> Wow. And uh, 150 is a jet takeoff 25 meters away. But it wasn't 180 decibels. That's why I did a lot on the brakes. I watched a ton of movies. Did you see that? Oh, yeah? Did you watch one on New Year's Eve? Did you do that? No, I didn't. After you RSVP'd Wait. that you were coming to my party? <gasps> and I even Scandal. texted you like two friends do. And I asked you, what do you want to drink at Cry. Party? Cry. <laughs> what do you want to drink at party? <laughs> and I made you get a really weird dr alcohol that nobody else You drank. made me get vodka. That's Russian. They ruined the election, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> you made me get vodka, and I had to sit there and look at that vodka all night. I'm sure someone had the vodka. I sure did. Yeah, the but he didn't come, and you know I find out he didn't come. It's actually it's a good reason. He yes. told me why. Yeah, I, just, I asked him about it too. Fair was like, too expensive. I, no, I didn't want to leave. Fair is our version of Uber in this fucking shitty city. I feel bad for my dogs. They really freak out at uh, We do too, Gus. Aww. And so I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave Benjamin alone. Oh, you're good. Why you just bring him? For dad. No, no, then, you, you right call, right call. Dude. Th then I get nervous about like them and getting Joe away. Joe the cat. Or, oh, Joe the cat would fuck them up. Yeah, you yeah. don't want him around Joe the cat. Yeah. He's a fucking nightmare of an animal. That was a good party. Yeah, they had good snacks. Really good snacks. We got tiny pies. It's a little bakery, and they make small pies. And Marcus made uh, oh. some some what's it called? Char like meat for a charcuterie board. Yeah. Is it just called a charcuterie? Yeah, I think so. Just like he he dry aged meat in a fridge for forty days. 
in the the prop warehouse, which is stage two. We're in stage five. Oh. That's the main stage that you see here. And uh, yeah, then he brought it. It was so. Fun. I wish so you hadn't so brought that good. up because now I'm like craving that. I know. It, it was good. It. it was like like I love like cheese boards Marcus. and charcuteries boards and Marcus. Marcus but like lovable. when you have homemade fresh meat like that, that's just like so perfect. Go ahead. And it just slides into your mouth so nicely. Just plump. Just plump. Just juicy. Juicy. Just I love Marcus's yeah, meat. Yeah, just throbbing. Nice, girthy homemade meat. It's the best. <laughs> exactly what you want. He even made it look pretty. He like, did. Like That's yeah. what Marcus like does. Like or something. Like, this kind of looks it. weird. This isn't going to taste good. And I was like, oh my God. I had these cheese tools that are like, they're like made out of raw iron. And I really liked them, and I've been I've had those You're cheese, cheese tools. I've had those cheese tools for like a year and a half. It's finally, and I never remember to bring them out because I always forget that I fucking have them. So for this part, he's like, I'm gonna finally get to use the fucking cheese tools. So I brought the cheese tools out and I used them, and all night I was like, yes. Yeah, and I was cutting the cheese. <laughs> they so look good. they look so good. Ashley threw them in the washing the I dishwasher. They're just they instantly rusted. They look like they're 80 years old. Oh, I should have taken a picture of them. They're just fucking terrible. You okay. brought out your special ice. Did you? Like on purpose, make the cutting the cheese joke. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, Barbara. Is, come on, it's amateur hour. I was just making sure. But Barbara was wanting to make sure that she didn't like hop on an opportunity right there. What's his special ice? Special ice. He's I talked to you about this before, right? I'm ice. I'm obsessed with making clear oh, ice. Oh, right, right. And because I want to point out something too is that the the because when I talk about clear ice, I get a rash of tweets, meaning a high number of tweets. Blame. I get a lot of tweets that explain to me how you make Jeez. clear ice, and everyone does it the exact same way. Uh, it's kind of like the heavy boots thing. Mm -hmm. Remember heavy boots? Which is, I, we, there was this bad science website in the early internet days called heavy boots. And it was because <laughs> it, it, it stemmed from the fact that there was this common misconception that there's no gravity on the moon, and there's, there's no gravity. So how do the astronauts keep from flying away? They have heavy boots. <laughs> it was just, it was like this weird thing. People just assume, oh, if you have heavy boots, then you'll stick to the earth. And that's because mm -hmm. you would fall faster because your feet are heavy. And the, 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 one, the heavy boots moment of clear ice, which is I just want to make crystal clear ice. That's what I want to do. Everyone says the same thing. So they're like, oh, so you boil the water first. And I'm like, how does it even make sense? If you boil water, how does that make the water pure? I get that it kills imperfections, living and, organisms yeah. right. in it, but it doesn't like get rid of minerals and everything else that would cloud up the water. It's not like bacteria that makes your ice have white. Have you tried it? Yes, I have tried it. I did try it just to, to make okay. sure and no. And I also there's a way you can like run it through a Brita pitcher like three times, or you can just go out and buy distilled water, or you can use my method, which is fucking dope. Which is what? It's and like it's a cooler, right? directional directional freezing. So I'd have a little cooler. I just do a thing with it. I actually wanted to talk to Hannah Hart about doing a My Drunk Kitchen where we make ice instead of anything else. That seems like the perfect thing to do. Um, I have a little cooler, like a $5 Coleman cooler for lunches. And I took the top off, and then you fill it with water. Oh, there you go. This guy, this is, the, this is the guy that taught me how to do it. So you take this cooler, you put it in the freezer, dun, 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 fast forward 24 hours, and it freezes from the top down, but because it's insulated everywhere else, the bottom's not frozen. So it's like the ice is like on top of like the pond, uh -huh. like basically. But all the impurities drip down into oh. the water beneath. And so he's way better at it than I am. He also has a cutting board that fits perfectly in his fucking sink. Yeah. I really want to get that. Yeah, fuck that so then you go chip, 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 get it. But look at that piece of ice. You can see straight through it. That's really cool. Yeah. It's, and so I was making clear ice and putting them in people's drinks. He also, I've never made a block that looks that good. I'm so jealous of that guy. Like, I can't, I've done it like a thousand times and I still can't get a perfect block Maybe of ice. Maybe he boils the water first. <laughs> Maybe he boils the water first. <laughs> he captures the steam. He makes it in condensation. Right. And yeah, it's not both? evaporating the water. It's just boiling the water. You right? boil the water and then put it in the cooler. If I evaporated the water and then recondensed it, then I would have pure water. But just boiling it doesn't make any sense. Like, bring it up to a boil. Done. You guys had a little champagne bar that I appreciated quite a bit. Let me tell you something. I overbought every bit of alcohol for that party because... Somebody asked for vodka, and <laughs> I bought too much vodka. I bought a bunch of fucking bourbon. I got, I have eighty limes in my house, eighty fucking limes sitting in my fridge. I have probably, probably like ten liters of tonic water because nobody drank through that. The one exception was fucking champagne. Everyone wants champagne. The champagne drinkers champ. destroyed that stuff. Yeah, I, I actually have a picture of it. Maybe I can find it and I'll send it. I to tweeted you. a picture too. Oh, did you? I was. Drunk when I tweeted that. I don't remember tweeting it. By the way, Barbara, horrible influence. 
We 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 were we went to like four in the morning, right? Yeah, we at three thirty. Three thirty. Not go crazy. Close enough. I, I had lost track of time. Wait, well, was, but we were going strong till like midnight thirty. No big deal. Then people start trickling out. Barbara's like, yeah. Barbara fucking yeah, doubles yeah, down, do. dude. Barbara's like, I, this is we're this party's gonna keep going. She doubles down, and then we're we're there till three thirty four in the morning, just drunk. There was like. And we made Chris eat all the rest of the pies because I wouldn't throw them away. Yeah. He must have ate like eight pies. Oh, I don't remember and those any were of this. Did, <laughs> did you become a vampire again? No, I was. I thought Pirates. I was well behaved. And that's not even all. That's of them. not even all of it. That's probably half the amount of champagne. And there that weren't was that many. Like it wasn't. We're showing a, lot a picture of here in the. Uh, that's a lot of champagne. I, we'll I do remember dump. when I was like getting drunker, I spilt my bottle or my uh, <clears throat> thing of champagne on uh, Riot and Alana. And they're like, what Good the move. fuck? Solid and I was move. like, I'm sorry, I'll go get a napkin. I walked down into the kitchen, I saw napkins, and I saw tiny pies, and I grabbed the <laughs> tiny pie and came back, and I was just eating it, and they're like, <laughs> where's the napkins? Just like, it's a tiny pie, though. <laughs> this pie is so good. Didn't all this reason. I hate services where you have to call to cancel. It's, it's like, Frank. Hey. Frank. Frank. You, you're very early for the Heroes and Half Witch shoot, Frank. <laughs> Premiering tomorrow. What are you doing here? Uh, just going to do some editing for the last episode. Do Why don't you come run editing. out and say, just wave, just say hello. Just like do a quick little wave. People want to see Frank. New uh, new season of Heroes and Half Wits starts tomorrow. Yeah. Or, or today yeah. if you're it's listening Frank's to the hard. audio. Hey, everybody, it's Frank. Hey. The DM hey. from. Uh, you're not on the camera. Here's Half Wits. Where the hell is no, he? He's a ghost. It's over there. No, it's over here. Hey, it's there, there he is. It's the gym. There, there he are. is. <laughs> look, now look for the red light. I don't even know. Okay. You're right. good. Right. You're good. Good we to see you, Frank. Yeah, good to see you. We need a red light. Frank, I've never met you. I'm Blaine. I'm Frank. Nice to meet you, Frank. Nice to meet you. Bring people together. Watch out there. It's Frank Frank was uh, actually one of the uh, early master. inspirations for Red vs. Blue. Frank was on my team at a Halo LAN party at my house in like t the year 2001. And he was yeah. on my team and I was just screaming, Frank, <laughs> the entire time. Because he had never played Halo before in his life. And yeah. he was doing it. Yeah, I think that was the first time. Wow, that was the first time. Yeah, yeah. Frank, Frank is saying that was the first time. How long have you guys known each other, Gus? Uh, we met when we were in ninth grade. So that would have been... 1992. 92, yeah. Yeah. Like August of '92. Wow. So coming up on 25 years. Damn. Wow. And I sat. It's a lot of Magic the Gathering. You, I think, or next to you, something like that, because I came late to that class because I didn't, I got, I didn't have all my registration stuff for the first. Oh, class. oh, oh, yeah. You sat in front of me. That was uh, Mr. Dawson's class, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> well, Frank is here burning the midnight oil <laughs> just to get an episode of Heroes and Half Wits out yeah. to you all. So thanks, Frank. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Hello? I don't normally look like this, by the way. I just shaved the mutton chops for What are you doing? I don't think Frank's going to judge you. Well, so it's okay. <laughs> when you hear the... It's like that guy with the mutton chops. Yeah. Business yeah. Frank in Austin. It's a place that serves basically just hot dogs. Yeah. Oh, Frank's. Or nice hot dogs. Frank's. No, it's not Frank's. It's Frank. It's Frank. It's Frank. Hey, this is a lot of people. Mutant, blah, 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 blah. And they'll be like, Alexa, bedroom on. And then they'll go back and like, I do it in a way that it seems so seamless that I don't think they ever realize that I put them on mute. Yeah. Which I'm pretty proud of. I just wonder why you have to be using your Alexa while you're... On the phone, like what is so pressing? Well, it's like you don't want to stall the conversation by giving command to Alexa. Well, what do you? Like, I mean, what or do you need to flush a toilet? I think that that's I, the flushing the toilet makes sense. Yeah. But yeah. like, it's not like all. Of, oh, Alexa, what's the weather? Like, on the phone. <laughs> Alexa, awesome. how do I end shitty conversations? <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of stuff you could do. I I have that device. I don't want to keep saying it because I know people at home probably some people may have it and it's just like setting it off like crazy. Alexa, show me horse dick. Did you see the funny Alexa story over the uh, little kid? The little kid? Yeah. No, no. You're porn? talking about the play dicka dicka. That yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that kid who did that. No, it was another little kid who uh, found out. And I'm going to be very careful here in the way I structure this story because I don't want to do what happened in the story. She ordered a dollhouse. So it, it, with this product, the the Echo, you call it by its name. Oh, and you right, say, right. order a dollhouse, and it does that. Oh, and no. it, it puts it in your cart and buys it. News story picked it up and they reported on it and the news anchor said and all she said was da 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 order a dollhouse apparently thousands of dollhouses got ordered because she said that on TV oh that no that is so funny yeah the future but you you can cancel it right like if you get a notification of some kind I don't I don't have one of these devices I, I, major retailers have refunded purchases made by children playing with phones or computers I think it's a one recent uh, incident occurred in Dallas Texas earlier this week when a six year old asked her new uh, family's Amazon Echo, can you play dollhouse with me and get me a dollhouse? The device complied. Uh, story could have stopped here, but it ended up being on a local morning show on San Diego's CW6 News. At the end of the story, Jim Patton remarked, I love the little girl saying blank 
order me a dollhouse. According to CW6 News, Echo owners who were watching the broadcast found that the remark triggered orders on their own devices. That's at the time. so funny. Isn't that funny? I almost did that during the Game Awards when Ashley and I presented. I almost did because it was a live streamed oh. thing. I almost walked up. You know, you have to do that with all due respect, stupid fucking banter that you have to do mm-hmm. at an award ceremony. Yeah. And I almost, we, they, they gave a script and we almost, I was just going to toss out. I said, I got a funnier joke. I was going to go out there. And she's, she said, hey, we're here to present the award for best action adventure game of 2016. I go, you know, Ash, I feel bad because I feel like I, I, we left home and I left the Xbox on home and it's just sitting there running, wasting power. I got a solution for this. And I was going to say, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Xbox you know, blank, yeah. Xbox blank. And then yes. And I was curious, like, how many Xboxes that would have shut off from people watching the Game Awards to their Xbox. <laughs> this fucking dick. Yeah. yeah. But I, I that would really, have been a great. I honestly couldn't yeah. bring myself to do it. And I really, really wanted to do it. But I also knew that, like, those, you know, they work a long time in that show. If I dropped out, like, 25% of their Yes, viewers, I wonder if, uh, never if they could watch it. that graph. Just go, boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like, wow, Bam, it got way better all of a sudden. dip all of a sudden during your segment. Alexa may or may not have gone off during sex. Not too long. <laughs> Go ahead. More like a sexa, huh? Shut the. Did you call her name out? <laughs> no. Barbara. Barbara was walking around. She said she called out to the Echo today. I I do I I think about doing it a lot. Uh huh. I rarely actually do it. She went, okay, but uh, I went. I, was I did it in Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah. I wanted to know what time it was. Uh huh. And so I said, <gasps> Alexa, oh. what? And I got real quiet. And the dude, like three aisles over, goes. <laughs> <laughs> He absolutely knew what I was doing. But I've to, done that too because I've been in my mom and dad's house to be like, "Hey, lights off." Oh fuck! And then uh, I get up yeah. like an asshole. <laughs> like, oh, I'm still living in the past here. <laughs> Gonna get up and do it manually. I, I found out though that if you go to the, I know this is like a very specific discussion for people who don't have them, but if you go to fifty the, bucks, get one, please. If you go to the skills section of it. And uh, you could actually add skills to the Alexa to learn. So, like, I added the seven-minute workout to it. So you could be like, Alexa, start seven-minute workout. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, it'll do this thing where it's like, okay, you're going to start with jumping jacks. Ready? When you're ready, say ready. And you'll go ready. And she'll go, like, three, two, one, go. And then it adds the most hilarious commentary in between oh. where, like, you finish a set and she goes, you're looking so fabulous. <laughs> Does it really? <laughs> and when you're doing a plank, she's like, stiff as a board. And like all these like different really funny commentary things. You should try it. I, I'm definitely going to try it. My favorite feature on, on that product, I'm just going to say, let's just say Echo, Echo instead of the, the, the one. I think that name. might trigger it though. If some people, you can set it up to answer to Amazon Echo or the other or name. Or yeah. the name. But mo- it comes default the other name, which is weird because that's not in like any of the branding for the product. I th- the name is different than the product. The, the product is an Amazon Echo. Yeah. Yeah. That's and for, in, in case anyone does not know what this is, it's a voice activated like assistant that lives in your house from Amazon. Jarvis, basically. The boy, they really beat Google to the punch on that Google Home, didn't they? Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody yeah. has an Alexa. Google Home just had the best. <laughs> People are going to hate us for the fucking Google market. Home just yeah. had the best girl of marketing when they had that Twitch stream. The Twitch with thing, the two, yeah. The two homes talking. Oh, I've, got, I've got a follow up question. Were, were you in the car the time we drove by that girl's house and John threw something out the window? What did he throw out the window? <laughs> what oh, we got a mic coming in. Frank, what did uh what was thrown out the window? It was a dead chicken with something on it in a plastic bag. Yeah, there was this it girl was like he a... liked and he had gone to like this witch doctor to make a love potion. Oh, oh, San- like a Santeria thing? Yeah, like, as yeah. to make like a a, a love potion <laughs> like for a, like and then this. the they gave him this dead chicken in a yeah. bag or some shit. And then he had to throw it into her yard, but he didn't tell us he was going to do this. He didn't tell us, yeah. <laughs> so he's in the backseat of the car. And he's the- like, slow down, slow down. And he rolls down the window and fucking throws it. He's like, go, go, yeah. go. <laughs> and you guys had no idea. Like, what the fuck? We had no idea. We were basically thinking we were involved in a drive-by shooting or something. So. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. So we freaked out, and we had to just like, take off. And we're like, John, what did you do? And How did he get in the car with the offering? And he he, didn't he had notice. it in a backpack. Okay. He put it in a backpack oh, yeah. down in the backseat. And then, like, no. It was, it was like... Tied or something. I forget, but yeah, it was in a plastic bag, like I said. So why would he not like, tell you that he was gonna do that? Because it's fucking crazy. <laughs> so crazy. Why did he <laughs> and it's do also that? crazy to do it. I mean, just it's that's that's the fact that he even did it, period. Neglect the fact <laughs> that he didn't tell you. <laughs> yeah, just this, that he right. did it is insane. This yeah. girl found a yeah. dead chicken in her yard. Oh yeah, and I think she called the cops on him or something. Like she found out later somehow who did it and uh, like it, the police came and like, <laughs> I had to talk to him. Like, you can't do that. Like that's not cool. I man. I used to oh, ride you. ride my bike by. I'm the glad way. you're here. I forgot who's who happening. <laughs> I, I had a crush on a guy throughout elementary school and high school. I used to ride by his house on my bike. Okay, he was so in that's the same the neighborhood that, as me. That's the thing you recognize, right? That, yeah, that, absolutely. That's, that's the thing. Because yeah. I invited Jeff to the party, but he had to go out of town, uh-huh. and he was like, 
I said, hey, I'm having a party on New Year's. And he replied back, uh, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be in Paris. And he goes, but thanks for the invitation. I go, that wasn't an invitation. I was just telling you I'm having a party. <laughs> I just want to let you know about it. He goes, oh, then I'm going to drive by slowly in my car. Yeah. And, you know, and I was like, I don't know. I hadn't thought about that in years. Like, 